Hi, I'm Dr. Keldner, Professor of Psychology at UC Berkeley and Faculty Director of the Greater Good Science Center. Gratitude is the feeling that we have for something that is given to us that we revere. And appreciation is when we express gratitude to other people. I teach the science of happiness at San Quentin and recently I asked some of the inmates there, what did they feel grateful for? And I was really astounded by their answers. They talked about feeling grateful for the sun, the chance to learn how to read, to get a high school education, their cellmate. It's really astounding. And, and that really aligns with Adam Smith, the great economist and his observation that gratitude is really the most important of the beneficent virtues. It helps us build strong communities. We know scientifically that practicing gratitude helps with our immune systems, it helps with our cardiovascular profile, it helps with our relationships and our well-being. So let's, let's try a gratitude practice. What I'm gonna do is just walk you through a gratitude practice very gradually where you think about something you're grateful for. So let's sit upright in a nice, comfortable, relaxed position and uh, start a pattern of deep breathing where you breathe in and expand your chest. Breathing out, pull in your abdominal muscles and follow the air through your nose. Breathing in, expand your chest, feel the air in your lungs. Breathing out, follow the air move from your lungs through your nose. And on this next breath, I want you to think about a, a time recently where you felt gratitude. Give that experience a name, like walking outside with a friend. Now think about what exactly happened during that experience, what got it rolling and how did it proceed? Draw your attention now to what it made you feel in your body, what sensations. And then finally, Think about why that experience took place in your life that day. What brought this experience into your life? That's it. Recently, I had a very serious illness in my family. It was one of the most challenging times in my life. And I would practice this reflection upon gratitude pretty regularly and it really helped me handle the stress. And now I try it in the morning when I'm waking up or at night before I go to sleep. I would encourage you to Think about trying this as well in your daily life. For more on gratitude, go to ggia.berkeley.edu. Thank you.